Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I am your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tenkar's Tavern blog. So, there was some interesting stuff going on the last day or two, and yeah, you know, when we had the uh, the wonderful statement, I had to go with the wonderful statement. So I put this to the side, and this just keeps on growing. So what is it? Well, Jim Ward in the old school TSR gamers group, over twenty one thousand members, a handful of them, I guess, are from the TSR era of gaming, right? Actual employees. We all know that's few and far between. They're getting older. So. What happened? Jim Ward broke the community rules. He shared a link to his Patreon. His Patreon is used to help to pay for his medical bills. Now, okay, Boomer, right? This is what we all, this is what you always hear. Did Jim know what the rules were? Maybe. Maybe not. Did he understand what the rules actually meant? Maybe, maybe not. Did the admin, sorry, the moderator, not the admin, George, here's the admin. Did the moderator, who we don't know who it is, there's a total of nine mods plus the one or two admins. Do we know who made the critical decision to suspend Jim Ward and not tell them why? We don't know. Now, let me preface this with the it's not easy moderating a social media group on, on Facebook or Discord. It's a pain in the ass. When you got 21,000 members, it's more of a pain in the ass. When you've got 10 people with moderation rights, you know, it, it, it gets a little, a little wanky, a little funky. Uh, and apparently, when you have 10 mods, all your mods don't know who your old school TSR gamers are. You would think that the old school employees, Frank, Tim, uh, Jim, one of those from that era, if they were going to post a link to their Patreon, you think that the uh, admins would get together and go, ah, you know what, it, it's, it's Jim. No harm, no foul. Or at the very least, you delete, you delete the comment and you say, hey, Jim, uh, we don't allow this in this group. Sorry, uh, just giving you a fair warning. But no. And he thought he was banned, by the way, because he just knew he couldn't get in. Again, okay, boomer generation. I understand that. Doubling down was when uh, the group started saying comments like, well, I'm glad that James Ward was banned. It was about time. Was it finally what he's what he says? Was it his politics or his stupidity? These are people who should be getting booted from your group. In all honesty, if your group is devoted to people from this era at the original TSR and somebody there gets banned over or suspended over a misunderstanding, people that are jumping on that to attack Jim shouldn't be allowed to stay. My opinion. You got 21,000 members in that group. Losing a few assholes is not going to make a difference. But no. What happened was, I, I, I guess, uh, we have an update here from George. George is one of the two admins. I believe he founded the group. I could be wrong. Uh, all right, just a little info for you guys. We have been getting spam attacked. What does that mean? It means that they're getting people with fake profiles, fake accounts coming in and spamming comments or spamming posts. People joining who have fake profiles and or were anonymously posting. I, I don't know why anybody, any group allows anonymous posting, but in any case... Every time we'd ban the person or persons, they would come back and try to start trouble all over again. Well, first off, they may or may not be the same people. Say it's the same ones coming back. But you obviously, you as a group, 
as a team of admins uh, are getting pushback for having banned slash suspended someone of Jim Hoard stature in a group devoted to old school TSR gamers. So we did some looking around into recent events, and these are the people that were at the root of that. Well, no, at the root of that was suspending James Ward. Here, here. The simplest solution that what should have been done right from the beginning was, hey, we fucked up. A member of our staff fucked up. We're sorry. It isn't going to happen again. We should have been clearer with Jim. Because they did say they're going to try to find a way to allow the old timers to occasionally share uh, commercial posting. But all right. The group is now private. Uh, that's fine. That's, you know, it doesn't slow your growth down. Certainly. You got 21,000 plus members. You don't care about growth. And invite links are turned off. All right, so we're we're that's that's pretty much the, you know locking the hen house after the wolf is already inside. It's it's a little bit late. We're going to keep monitoring things. Fine. We think the people behind all this were people who were banned, and now they are showing their actions through their actions as to why they got modded in the first place. Banning isn't something that we do lightly. But apparently, suspending is something that you do at the drop of a pin. To James Ward, again, handled poorly. That's why you're having this pushback in this community. And you can still go there, and you can still see people going, what the fuck is going on here? On both sides, there are people... Who would love every old school TSR person banned because they are politically incorrect these days? And then you have other people who are like, why am I here if we're banning old school TSR people? I saw some of those people on Luke Gygax's page and they were spitting bullets about us. A lot of people are spitting bullets, not about, well, about the group, but mostly about how the admins handled this. I extended an olive branch to those guys, and only one person reached out to me. Okay. And by the way, they acted when we talked. And by the way, they acted when we talked. I would be surprised if they were someone that I had modded. Makes sense. Because they responded to you, right? Does it make the other people who didn't respond to you people that you modded? It could be that they made their comments and made their post and then walked away, right? It is quite possible. People, in, most of us, and I'm not including myself in most of us because obviously I'm way too wired into all this shit, but many people do not sit on Facebook 24-7. But this seems almost like He's blaming Luke for this. Not saying he is. I'm just saying, pointing out that these people were on Luke Gygax's page. They were. Where else are you going to go if Jim Ward is suspended and old, old school TSR people are being attacked? Where else would you go but Luke Gygax's page? Also, do not think this is the end. Okay. I want to see if we can get Facebook involved in on this. You're not. They don't give a shit. 21,000 members is still small potatoes. They don't care. They are a megacorp. You are nothing. They don't care. What are you going to complain about? That people were joining your group when it was open and, and commenting or making posts that you didn't appreciate? Make it private. You did. Uh, they were like, okay. I am not going to stop pushing on this harassment until it's been properly dealt with using the proper channels. What proper channels? What harassment? Again, people coming in complaining that Jim Ward was banned. Well, it, it gets a bit more interesting. 
If Facebook ignores this, then we'll have to see about using methods that are outside of Facebook and are legal. To me, and I'm sure George will correct me if I'm wrong, that sounds like threatening legal action, lawsuits. Okay. Over what? Over what? Now, these people being threatening in some way. I, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I mean, it uh, just sounds like they're voicing their opinion. Uh, it's e not e harassment. Well, it's harassment because it is uh, apparent. They don't want to hear it? Apparently, they don't want to hear it, and the admins feel that it is a coordinated attack. Uh, um, I think that they fail to understand how passionate some members of the gaming community are for the old school gamers and the old school TSR people in the group that is old school TSR gamers. Blows my mind that they don't understand how passionate people are defending icons from their past. So, now here's something that was interesting. I thought I had to add these recent comments from George. Um, I'm going to have to turn off the banner at the bottom just so I can get to the very bottom. Uh, George, I just checked, and I do not see the post that got Frank to leave. Frank, Frank Metzner. And I looked. Frank's not there. Tim Cask isn't there. Okay. I mean, these are people that when you went to old school cons, this was the old guard that you met. Frank, Tim, Jim Ward. And guess what? Frank, Tim, Jim Ward. No longer in the old school TSR gamers group. So what do you do when you're an old school TSR gamers group and you got no old school TSR uh, icons left? I don't know. Um, I am guessing one person or the other having left and their posts went away, which is really strange to me. If I can find it, I'll be banning the person that attacked Frank. I know. I, I could see who attacked Frank. They're still up there, by the way. Um accusing Frank of misdeeds at conventions. And while Frank is far from an angel, and Frank and I share no love, I know of no incidents at a convention where Frank did anything horribly untoward, except for one which was, I don't know, I think taken out of context. But... To say that this is, is habitual, which was what the commenter was hinting at. So it it's there. You can you can find it. Uh, and then it goes on. I only found out about this 15 minutes ago, maybe, and apparently he was attacked personally. I have something that I have to do right now. When I get back, it's the first thing I'm going to deal with. Listen. It's not easy to moderate any social media group. If your social media group is open because you're just excited about how many members you can get joining in, you can get a lot of members that aren't joining because they want to necessarily or because they're excited about it. Oh, well, another group I can join. And the reason why I'm assuming that the old school TSR gamers group doesn't allow any commercial posting is that a good percentage of these members and this group are there only for commercial purposes. I get that all the time in the Tank Hearts Tavern group when you get them very foreign names who can't answer the basic question of do you agree not to discuss uh, politics and social issues? And agree that they're important but too important for this group. It's a yes or no answer. And people leave it blank. Well, why would you leave it blank? Answer it. Right? Or on MeWe, in the D&D &D group on MeWe. What's your favorite edition of D&D? &D? Uh, yes. Huh? These are people that are joining because they see it as an opportunity to spam commercially. I understand that. George understands that. His admins understand that. Never should have been an open group if that's the case. If that is your concern and fear. It should be invite only or allow people to find your group 
but they have to answer questions. I don't know if there's any questions you have to answer to become join the old school gamer group. I don't know. I've been in it for a while, but I never really frequented it. And I'm sure after this video, I'm, I'm likely to no longer be a member of it. But that's okay. I'll be in good. I'll be in good company with a lot of uh, TSR alumni. So, is this a no-win situation for the old school TSR gamers group on Facebook at this point? Likely. I, I don't. I don't. I, it, can you still fall on the sword at this point and say, "Hey, we fucked up. We never should have suspended." Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Likely is a bit too late. Usually when you have a phone or sword, you got to do that early. Um, folks, live stream tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Other than that, be safe, be well, God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well. That's that ancient Chinese curse. May you live in interesting times. We're living in interesting times. All right, folks. I'll catch you later. Be good.